In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the monogram tool, and that's found here on the left-hand toolbar. And we'll we'll go ahead and click Edit Monogram. And notice my tool options have changed to show me first of all a font name, the text that we want in monogram, and the monogram layout. And so you can choose from any font that's available within your Windows computer. And so certainly there's dozens and dozens there. And then once you're done and you select a font, then you want to type in the text. So I've got my initials, Trevor Howard Conkergood. And then you choose a monogram layout. And there's a drop down list that shows you different arrangements for the letters, kind of one, two, three, with little boxes around them showing you how it's going to arrange and sort of resize or reshape your letters. And I'll just choose this simple diamond template and click and drag to create it. Now, when I drag, I can make it any size and shape, any sort of tall and narrow or short and fat, any proportions. And when I'm done dragging and let go, it creates the monogram. If I right click and let go, I can see the size of it and transform it like any other shape, you know, stretch it or resize it, whichever that might be. I could choose any object properties, so set it as a satin fill or a step fill or, an, you know, whatever, applique, drawing pens. Um, I can see that it's set for a white fill with a black outline, and I'm thinking maybe I won't want to have a black outline, and I'll make it a blue fill or whatever color you like. Um, so that's the idea. You create a monogram. Let's just quickly create another one. So we'll choose to, you know, some other kind of font and maybe just put in A, B, C and choose a different template. Um, so you can see how it gives us different, I guess, appearances depending on what you choose. Now, again, I'm going to, let's see, zoom over so we can see it better. And I'll turn off the black outline. Now I wanted to show you when you have an object like this selected, of course you can change its position or its size, but when you change to the Edit Shape Nodes tool, it gives you red handles around the little, see how there's little boxes that make the envelopes for each letter? And when I'm in the Edit Shape Node tool, I can select on those handles and move them you know, bigger or smaller, wherever they, you know, if there's something about your layout that just doesn't seem quite right and you want to sort of fix it, you can tweak the shapes of each letter's sort of envelope within that monogram. Now, to do that, you first select it with the selection tool, then you use the edit shape node tool to uncover those extra shape points. So now what I'd like to do is continue working on monogramming, but this time we're going to choose the file and new design menu. And when you use File and New and go through and select your techniques, just make sure you have at least embroidery turned on. Um, select a fabric. Now, here we have the option to choose a new monogram. So from the Artwork Source window, we choose New Monogram. Now, this is a little different because instead of using the tool where I click and drag to make the monogram, I need to type in a size and um, I can type in a height and a width or a proportional or whatever, type in my letters, type in a font, and this time I think I'm gonna choose a font that has uh, like a serif, like this, and then a f I wanna pick a template that has overlapping like this, whoops, that was way down the list, um, like these ones here where they go, you know, one over two over three sort of thing and then choose a frame. So now we have the ability to choose frames and we didn't have that before. But you'll see here that there's a ginormous list of different styles of outlines that you can choose from. I, don't, I didn't count them, but there's certainly dozens and dozens of corners and you know shapes that you can use to work with your monograms. Now I'm just gonna grab one of these simple kind of, oh, one of these ones like this here because it kind of goes, to me that kind of goes good with the one, two, three shape like that. So I choose that and say next. Now it's showing me the colors of the design. So I guess the border's got a color and the lettering has two colors. If I drag this to be less colors, it'll combine you know, the blue and the black to be the same color. That's all this step is. And then we'll say finish. Now it's created my design. And if we scroll in, you can see that those letters have been made in um, interlocking. So see that? It's actually made the letter B go in front of the letter C here and behind the letter C there. And that's pretty um, awesome. But if you like, you can take control of that. And so for this one, what I'll do, I'll just select that ABC. Maybe I'll turn off the black outlines again. Scroll in nice and close here and use the Edit Shape Node tool. 
Now, remember with the note shape node, yes, you can choose, you know, to move these corners and change the overlapping of the letters, but you can also, and just watch what happens when I mouse right over top of where the C is under the letter B, it turns purple. It shows me that there's letter underneath there. And if I click right now, it'll actually put the letter C on top of the letter B. Click again, puts the B on top of the C. And so you get to kind of decide how you want to interlock the letters. So anytime there's an overlap, so for example here, you know, the letter A is on top of the letter B. If I'd rather have the letter B on top, I can click there and it'll put the B on top of the A. And so that's what you do. And again, to, to get to this menu, you first of all select the monogram and choose the Edit Shape Nodes tool, which gives you the handles for each box. But at the same time, if I mouse in closer, I can get a highlight over top of the area where they interlock and then click to choose which letter should be on the top of that selection. So that is how to use the monogramming tool. And that is also how to use the monogramming um, sort of wizard when you use the file and new design. And so I hope you enjoy creating monograms.